Is your money safe with SoFi? Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of fintech, specifically a company called SoFi. They've been making waves, offering a one-stop shop for everything from student loan refinancing to investing and even getting a mortgage. But with all the buzz, a crucial question emerges, is SoFi financially stable? This is a big deal, especially when you're trusting a company with your hard-earned cash. So, let's buckle up and dissect SoFi's financial health. We'll explore their recent performance, dig into their strengths and weaknesses, and unpack what it all means for you, the potential customer. First things first, SoFi isn't your traditional bank. They're a financial technology company, or fintech for short. This means they operate primarily online, leveraging technology to streamline financial services. While SoFi doesn't have a long, established history like some brick and mortar giants, they've been growing rapidly in recent years. Now, this rapid growth is exciting, but it also raises questions. Can SoFi maintain this momentum? Are they building a sustainable financial house, or is it all a house of cards? Well, looking at their recent earnings reports, there are positive signs. In Q1 of 2024, SoFi actually achieved their second consecutive quarter of gap profitability. That's a fancy way of saying they brought in more money than they spent, which is definitely a good thing. But hold on a second, because there's more to the story. Part of this profitability came from a one-time benefit, so it's not all sunshine and rainbows. However, they are showing signs of strong revenue growth, particularly from their core lending business. This suggests they're building a customer base that relies on their services, which is a crucial ingredient for long-term success. Here's another factor to consider. SoFi has a growing deposit base. In simpler terms, more and more people are trusting SoFi with their savings. This is a positive sign, as deposits are a cheap source of funding for SoFi to lend out and make money on. So far, things are looking good, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. SoFi still has some hurdles to jump. They carry a significant amount of debt, which can be a burden if the economy takes a downturn. Additionally, they're not yet consistently profitable, relying on those one-time benefits to stay afloat. Here's the thing, profitability is key for any company's long-term health. SoFi needs to prove they can consistently generate earnings without relying on temporary boosts. Another potential concern is regulation. Fintech companies like SoFi are a relatively new phenomenon, and the regulatory landscape is still evolving. If regulators put the brakes on SoFi's business model, it could significantly impact their growth. So, what does all this mean for you? Here's the takeaway, SoFi shows promise. They're innovative, growing rapidly, and have achieved some key financial milestones. But they're still a young company, and there are some uncertainties to consider. Before you jump in, do your research. Understand SoFi's products and services and carefully evaluate their fees. Remember, SoFi might not be FDIC insured for all their products, so be aware of potential risks. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to trust SoFi with your money is yours. But by being informed and asking the right questions, you can make a sound financial decision. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time. Keep your finances sharp.